It's not going to matter for people who... Paper? People? Hey guys, so it's Esther, and I am going to review for you some products that I got. Um, these are products from Studio Gear Cosmetics. Um, just disclaimer, they did send me these products for free. I did not pay for them. That does not mean I'm getting paid to do this review. It also does not mean I'm going to lie about this review. I would, I think that's stupid to lie about a review. face primer. You can't see that. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and put on my own foundation. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay 24 hour in 220 natural beige for combination oily skin. So the next thing I'm going to use is their Studio Gear 3, 3 to 1 Harmonic Eyeshadow Trios. And this is in Study and Taupe. And these are the colors. I'm going to go in with the lightest color. I'm going to go in with this lighter color and do some contouring. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, just another e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush in the darkest color and I'm going to do the defining here. And this I try to stick as close to my crease as possible but Again, with the hooded eyes, I want to bring it up just a tiny bit, but for right now, I stick in the crease. I let the blending do the bringing up part. This is a defining eye brush from e.l.f. I'm just going to hide. I'm going to um, almost do like eyeliner with this color because I think it ties everything in together pretty well. I'm going to go back in with this brush with the lighter color and just lighten up just a little bit, especially the inner corner here. Now they didn't send me an eyeliner, so I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Precise to just stick in an eye eyeliner. Now I've lined my eyes. I'm going to use the Studio Gear Inline Outline Natural. Uh, pencil that they sent me. This pencil is really cool. It's um, shaped like a carpenter's pencil in that it has three flat sides. So if you look from the end, it looks like a triangle. This ha helps so that when you're on, you know, you're sitting at your vanity and you've got this on the table, it doesn't roll because it'll stop because it's a flat side. They also say that these dots are like a sure grip kind of dot. I don't know, I mean, how many of you who generally, like, lose the grip of your pencil all the time, but, um, the only downside I have to this, to this, is that the cap doesn't fit onto the pencil very well, so sometimes it falls off. I don't like that. Uh, but it could be a fluke in the product design, and, you know, this could have just been a bad, a bad seal through the product line. Honestly, can't tell you for sure. So I'm going to do my inner, inner corner here with this. I'm going to actually... And this is not going to brighten up too much because it's actually just a natural color. It's um, flesh tone for those of us that have this color flesh. Where I see this being a huge bonus is when it's every once in a while, well, okay, a lot, I mess up my eyeliner. Um, it'll skip, especially because my hooded eyes. It'll skip and I'll get like a dot here. And this will be able to go in and like literally like dot concealer. I'm also going to line my eyebrows with this let's see how that works again it's not doing much to highlight because it's just my skin color but it's gonna wick away any any dark marks I think it actually works pretty well on the outside there this will help if you get some eyebrow um, crayon or pencil or um, powder in here you'll be able to clean it up anything you want to clean up this will be a great tool for that curl my eyelashes here I'm gonna go in with the studio gear impactful pro TLS mascara 
and this is not this does not have a color um, but it's black I mean it didn't have a color listed on it and this is the brush you can see just a very simple brush which you would normally expect oh this is working pretty darn good So there's, there's the side I've done, and there's not done. So it works really well. I don't have any clumping going on, and I've used this several times. I think a lot of times the clumping, even if you have a mascara that doesn't clump a lot, it'll start clumping if you start using too much, if you go over it too many times. So let's do the other side. Now, I don't think this is waterproof, but the last step we have the Studio Gear Complete Color Intensely Professional Lipstick. And this is in Candlelight. Here's the color. Here's the packaging from the outside. It's like a rubbery texture, which I like because that way I can grasp it pretty well. And here's the color. So I'm going to stick on some bronzer real quick and then we'll do a finished look. So here's the finished look. primer went on really well it has almost the professional mattifying kind of like finish but it doesn't have like velvety finish it's like it almost feels powdery afterwards this doesn't have that it feels really really soft but the main point of a primer is that your makeup stays on longer it doesn't slip and crease so I'll come back and let you know how it did or I'll put something below or here or something uh, the second thing the study and taupe try I, I really like this again these remind me of the the naked colors the the, the um, color that color the shimmer that's in them the pigmentation of them uh, yeah I like them a lot so far so good I'm thinking I may go and look and see what other colors they have the inline outline natural eye pencil I really like the idea of this. I, I honestly, I think this is one of those things that I didn't know I, I needed until I got it. Perfect to kind of go in and perfect without totally messing up the whole rest of your lid. I wish the cap stayed on. So again, I don't know if that's just a flaw in the design of this particular pencil. But if not, I may you may want to look into a better closure system. The lipstick, again, I wish it smelled better. It smells like that old 80s, 90s lipstick. We'll have to see how it wears because that's also a test of a lipstick, I think, is whether it, whether or not it slips off really easily. The mascara is the last thing. Studio Gear Impactful Mascara. I really like this, actually. I think it does a really good job of separating and defining your lashes. I don't know that it adds a lot of volume, but I do think it separates really well and makes your lashes look really good. Uh, I I have generally pretty good lashes. I'm not I'm not blessed with like overly long lashes or full lashes. I just have really just average good lashes. So I think it does a really good job. I hope you guys have a great day. Drink your water. Take care. Bye-bye.